great to meet you over Zoom. But we should probably get started with our designs. I agree. With opening night only being nine weeks away, we're not going to have much time. What do you think of the play? I think it is cool that we were chosen to be part of a new theatrical production of the Restoration, especially with the ending of the Hill Kimura pageant ending next year. I guess that's one nice thing about COVID-19 is that it moved the last performance to next year. True. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I heard that they needed a new play to be produced in stake centers around the world. Oh, and we're the prototype production? Huh. Can't wait to see what the other countries and cultures are going to do with this. So I am the youngest of seven, and I'm actually twin, and I'll show you a quick picture of us together right there. And I love her. Anyways, I just recently got back from my mission in Japan a few months ago, but I was sent home early. Due to the coronavirus, which is kind of a bummer, but it's okay because I trust Heavenly Father and his plan. But I love musicals and music and tap dancing, and here are my tap shoes. Um, some One of them. The other pair's in here because I was going to go take a clogging class, but they're closed also because of it. But I am so excited to be a part of this new restoration um, show. So, yeah. So I'm 27, married, I have one son and a puppy, who, whose name is Deuce, uh, and then I also have a lot of Legos, of which I hope to somehow incorporate into the scene design. I served my mission in the Mississippi Jackson mission from 2012 to 2014. That was a whole lot of fun, and let's see, what else about me? Oh. I also have directed a couple plays, as well as wrote a couple scripts. It's been fun, uh, but scene design will be really important to learn. So now that we're introduced, we should decide a stage space. So most stake centers in the U.S. will have a proscenium arch stage. A stage where the audience is all viewing the stage in the same direction. Um, typically it has a simple drop in the back with draperies on the side and sometimes a curtain in the front. No, oh, I've never heard it be called that. I've just heard it be called a stage. Is there an option of where we can make the audience feel more like they're part of the action? They asked us to make it feel more intimate since it is the restoration. And just being on a stage like that, it's like they were, would be just watching a movie. Shakespeare used a thrust stage at the Globe Theater. The audience surrounded the stage and could see from three different sides. Or I just had another thought. We could design it around an arena stage because the gospel is always around us. Um, and that way we can make the audience feel as though they are the countless concourses of angels that witness the first vision. I like the idea of that. That reminds me of like a flexible space. Uh, just a bunch of stage area and the audience is just kind of intermingled anywhere. Close, but not quite. We still want the audience to be reverent during this presentation, especially since this is the greatest moment of this dispensation. That is true. Uh, we could also use all of the classrooms as green rooms, dressing rooms, storage, that kind of stuff. All right, so we'll go with the arena stage. But we're going to need adequate space for the scenery in it. We should probably set up the chair so that we have enough room. But what I'm worried about is the aisle space. We should probably make those wide as the doors. So that if we have to bring anything in, is that we'll have enough space. Alright, 
that sounds good to me. So I will see if we can do a stage setup at my steak center. <laughs> It went well, we actually had more than enough chairs, and we had the um, young men set up all the chairs, so that was a plus. Nice. I'm still working on some of the designs for the scenes, uh, rough sketches, 3D models, uh, and I'm having a hard time figuring two of them out. The first vision, and when the angel Moroni first appears to Joseph Smith in his bedroom. We can only have so many trees and we can't have them blocking the view of the audience from any place. So where should I put them on the stage? Oh, gotcha. That does create quite a problem. What if instead we did three trees as a symbol of the Godhead? We could do that. And since there's only three trees, we could put them in each of the aisleways with the fourth aisle being used as the way where Christ and the Heavenly Father are going to come to Joseph. I love that, great placement. But we do need a way to move the trees quickly because trees are large and awkward to carry, so yeah. We could put them on a wagon like a piano trolley. That way they could stay upright and not get crushed in the storage room. Yeah, and for the bed, we could make a lightweight cot that could be taken apart on stage before being removed. Because we're doing a stage arena, we won't have to mask anything except maybe the floor. That's true, and the acting space will probably be better if we have it smaller, because that way we'll be able to have a more intimate atmosphere for our audience. We also can't have any lamps on the stage because there wasn't electric lamps in Joseph Smith's time. We could put them in the background, though, to try and get a reverent, diffused light like what's inside of the temple. Here are a few of mine. Those look great. Don't mind my music, just getting inspiration. Yours as well. Thanks. Um, we are also going to need an interior designer for some of this, especially to keep these things historically accurate. A painter would be nice for all of this since we don't have that much scenery as far as walls, but something to make the ground look more like ground, dirt, soil, wooden cabin, like what Joseph Smith would have had at the time. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the next meeting. Bye-bye. I think that went well. We got some good feedback, and now we have a better direction of where we need to go. Uh, the director really has this idea well thought out. I agree. We do not have to make many soft scenery units. We could do some drops or draperies to make the whole place seem more closed off from the world. Kind of like in the temple, how you cannot hear any outside noises. We may even need a door or a window. Uh, just so that we can enclose the aisles. to Just to keep everyone close and again, just intimate. Besides the trees, I think the only 3D scenery needed 
will be the stones that the golden plates are hidden under. That brings up a really good point. We're going to need a stone box for the golden plates and then also a Bible for Joseph to read out of. It's really a light set, so really it's just assembly. We wanted to make this easy so that members around the world could present it. Very easy. The brethren will be proud of what we have accomplished. Thank you for working so hard on this the last couple of days. You have been amazing to work with and so kind and so smart. I'm so glad that you were my partner in this. You as well. Like, seriously, I'm just so thankful for how respectful and collaborative you were. Um, you had really great ideas to add to the project, so thank you. Thank you everyone for watching our presentation on theatrical space as well as scenery design. Uh, both Emily and I had a lot of fun trying to come up with an original idea as well as including the gospel in it, uh, especially with all the articles that we have been reading. One of the th our main discussion point is how would you present the restoration so that Everyone who watched it, whether they were members or non-members, could feel that spirit that comes from this great historical event. How would you design the scenery? How would you, what, what type of stage would you use? Uh, would you want to do it as a large production or would you want to do it as something smaller, something intimate? that everyone could see, but only like at 40 people at a time, maybe. Uh, these are the questions that we would like you guys to answer. Thank you all for joining us on our scenic design journey. Um, hope you all like and subscribe. Just kidding, oh wait, you can't do that. Just comment down below. Have a good day, bye bye. Oh, also look at this view. Yeah, gorgeous. Bye-bye.